What's, what's a lesson you've learned lately about yourself? I, I realize how, this sounds dumb, I realize how sensitive I am, though. I didn't know that for my whole life, but I am. This your boy Kenny Mason here with Hip Hop DX. We out here in Day in Vegas. It's my first time in Vegas. Salute. Uh, we're Day in Vegas. Kenny Mason, one of my favorite new artists, one of my favorite people in the game. Genuine soul. Appreciate your time here today. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? I was busy earlier getting ready to perform and doing other interviews, but like, I'm chilling now. I'm ready to see. I just saw my boy Zay. That's why I was late here. Isaiah Rashad. Like, a good reason to be late. Hey, yeah, I had to, I had to at least see like the first three songs, you know what I'm saying? What's your favorite Isaiah song? Oh, shit. This is going to change later on, but but right now it's probably dressed like rappers, you feel me? But I really love, like, I don't know, like, Chad on the first project. I mean, on the the, the one that Jet came out, uh, The House is Burning, like, that shit, 5 2. Like, I don't know. That's hard, bro. He's got a lot. One of my favorite artists, that's hard. But dressed like rappers is like some, that shit, like, that shit put me in, you know what I'm saying? I love that song. Are you sticking around for Kendrick tonight? 110%. Yes. What are you most excited? What song are you most excited to see from him? Bro, honestly, if he doing if he doing section eighty, like he be doing shit from section eighty, I wonder if I'm I'm wondering if he gonna do rigor mortis, you know what I'm saying? And how he's able to keep that flow. Yeah, cause I always ever since I was a little boy, I was like, can this nigga do this shit live? You know? I think there's a punch in somewhere, and I think it's just so flawless. There's no way he goes all the way through there. You think he can do that? I'm betting he could do it, bro. I'm betting that he could do it. I'm curious to see. But I also want to see uh, ADHD, ADHD, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that shit. It's a good setting for that song, too. Hell yeah, yeah. Word. Well, do you have any pre-show rituals that you do that, like, get you in the zone before a show? Yeah, I eat an apple, like, before every show. They on my, they, I be having them on my rider. Like, I got to have an apple and the shit. I don't know, I just, it's like a good omen or some shit. When did that start? Like, probably, like, three, four years ago, I just had like a real, like, nobody knew me for a long time, and then I had a show, um, and I ate an apple right before that shit, it was the only thing I ate that day, you feel me, and it was just like, the show was just fire as fuck, like, the show was fire as fuck, so I just was like, I'ma just placebo, maybe some placebo shit, but I'ma just got down, eat an apple for your show. Does it have to be a specific kind of apple, or? It don't gotta be specific, but my favorite kind is, uh, the, the golden crisp apples, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What about other things on your rider? What else is on it? Water. Hey, yo. I be going to hella festivals and they be like, y'all niggas want Patron and shit, like alcohol and shit. But I don't see how nigga be drunk and performing. Have you ever? Hell nah. <laughs> I, I be rapping too much. I got, I say too many words. Yeah, yeah. I be jumping around. Clothes. Like, I throw up on the fucking crowd if I, you know what I'm saying? What's, just water. Just water for me. Any specific kind of water? I know in that Joey interview, he was talking about water a lot. He was talking. He was talking about water. Yeah, before the interview, he was saying like a, he, he doesn't drink Essentia anymore, even alkaline water and stuff. He's like careful on which ones he drinks. He said spring water is honestly the best sometimes. I don't know, man. I just drink fucking water. That shit water. So he probably right though. I'm gonna rewatch it to see. But I just be drinking water, bro. <laughs> Well, speaking of crazy drunk nights, I know the saying about Vegas, but, you know, just between me and you, have you been in Vegas and had a really crazy night? And if so, what happened? This is my first time ever in Vegas. Ever? Yeah. So, I'm trying to have a crazy night tonight. You feel me? Not too crazy, yeah. but, like, a Vegas night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever I do stays here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hangover four. No. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Maybe like half a, not hangover, just hanging. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just hanging. Yeah. What's a classic album that you think doesn't, that to you is a classic, but like other people might not think it's a classic, but you, you're standing strong in your in your opinion? The only, reason I'm, the only reason I'm saying people might not think it's a classic is because like, I don't know how, I don't know how far it got outside the city of Atlanta or like the state of Georgia, but Rich kids, everybody eat bread. It's like they first real, like they had projects, but it was like mixtures of songs that would just, they just put out and it was goddamn, you know what I'm saying? But like everybody eat bread was they first like project, project. I feel like that's a classic to me. That's like 
every song on that motherfucker hard as fuck. Like, shout out to Rich Kids. Yeah, you know about Rich Kids. You know, I, I, um, I think I heard them, f- or yeah, I heard that song first. Pot- is partner them? Is that? Yeah, yeah, with Ludacris and uh, uh, who was the other guy? Um, Scrappy. That I remix. That, I never even heard that version. You gotta hear that remix. Luda went crazy. How of them? You gotta hear the version with Young Dro though. Oh, I haven't heard that one. Listen to the version with Young Dro. Okay. Cause that's hot. Well, I, I heard it before Dro was on it, but when he got on it, I was like, "Oh, this shit out of here." And Dro one of the motherfucking finest rappers out of Atlanta ever. Okay. We'll, we'll trade. We'll trade versions. Okay. Cool. Yes. I send you. The, I send you the version with Dro. Okay. And uh, last question, I know you're working on new music, and um, you said you're kind of getting in the zone. What is inspiring you in your life right now, whether it be musically or, or else, or, you know, outside factors that just kind of keep you motivated to go in the studio? Um, honestly, like, my life, you know, people like the music I make now, you know what I'm saying? So people and things in my life are reacting to people liking it you know what i'm saying so explaining those reactions you feel me is basically like what i've been talking about because it's a really it's so interesting to see you feel me i I don't know if i'm explaining no i i say the same thing i say your first album your first project is your whole life up until that point that you've been working towards i always say like you know i look at a drake right like getting to that point then the second album is dealing with fame like a take care where you're like oh i'm in this new life like how am i dealing with the pressures of like you know talking to an audience and having people look at me in a certain way and the new the women and the money and whatever it is and then the third album is like okay the climb after that so i i i I think i understand that where you're coming from kind of yeah it's more so like it's making me realize things about myself from my past. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's real interesting. It's like I'm I'm learning more about myself. You know what I'm saying? The further I go. So what's what's a lesson you've learned lately about yourself? I I realize how this sounds dumb. I realize how sensitive I am though. I didn't know that for my whole life, but I am. So I, I can't really explain it in words. It just got sensitive. Sensitive guys unite. I <laughs> salute. salute. You know what I'm saying? Anything else you want to say to your fans? I love y'all.